Excuse me, sir. Quick question. If Beyonce could be a food, what would she be? Bean burrito. Avocado. Avocado? Any reason why? Sometimes she's just right, and other times, <laughs> absolute disaster. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome challenge, and I can't wait to eat Beyonce for dinner. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I'm here today with Chef Nikki Starweiler of Mesa in Costa Mesa, California. And Nikki, there's an experiment that I've always wanted to do. I'm going to go out, ask people what they think Beyonce would be if she would be a food. I'm going to bring you a list of ingredients. And do you think you could complete a meal based on that? Yeah, that sounds fun. Excellent. It is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, if Beyonce could be any ingredient in food, what would she be? <laughs> Caviar. Chocolate. Coffee. Tofu. Fried okra. Chicken and waffles. <laughs> I mean, she got thick. Uh, thick thighs, you know. <laughs> Jalapeno. Should be pepper. Cumin. Cinnamon. Who's Beyonce? Hot, hot peppers. <laughs> Why would she be hot, hot peppers? Because she's a hot, hot woman. What do you think? Um, they were all pretty good. There was yeah. a few that threw me off a bit. I don't think Beyonce is very tofu y. I got a lot of inspiration from all the peppers mm -hmm. and Beyonce's song, Ring the Alarm. So I think that we should do a tempura fried avocado Ooh. with a spicy three pepper crema sauce and then caviar as a garnish. So we're going to start with making our tempura batter. It's basically just all purpose flour and cornstarch and then soda water. It's almost like um, a pancake batter. It's kind of oh, what okay. the this consistency you're looking for is. Let's make our crema sauce next. So we're going to add a little bit of cream to our bowl. This is good for your forearms as well. <laughs> Just about right at this point. So it looks like whipped cream you would get on top of your coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have some different peppers here, but we don't want the seeds. The seeds and the ribs is where all the heat is held. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna de-seed and re-rib them. We want it to be hot, but we don't want it to be overpowering to kill your whole palate. You start by julienning them, which is like a long strip, and then we're gonna take them and just turn them into little tiny squares, That'll which is the French term for brunoise. There's four sprigs of the cilantro, just the, the leaf, and then we're gonna just do a rough chop on them. So let's start adding our flavoring now. And then we're gonna add a little tiny bit of citrus. And then now we need to season. Salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. So now let's start cutting our avocados. Yeah. The way we take out our seed, you just knock it like that. Some people cut it before. I like to take the whole thing out in one swoop with the spoon. You're mm -hmm. just gonna run it along the the skin there like that. Do you want to cut these? We just want to sure. do like some uh, slices down the middle. Now we're going to take our tempura batter and we're just going to dump Lost them smaller. right in. Yeah. All right. All right. So our fire temperature looks good and we're going to go ahead and uh, throw these avocados in. We've had some oil heating up behind us. You want a candy thermometer and you want to get it at about 350 degrees. Okay. So these guys look about good. We're going to take them out of here with a spider here. And as you can see, they're nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take our ring the alarm sauce, so our crema sauce with all the peppers. Mm -hmm. Put it right here on the side of the plate. And then we're just gonna take this and kind of smear it along the bowl there. And then we're gonna take these guys, okay? So our fried avocado and just kind of make a little pile in the middle of the bowl here. Let's use some of our caviar. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy, like Beyonce. And let's do two little piles off to the side, one of each, a little contrast in color. And then we're gonna use a little bit of the micro arugula. You can actually find these a lot now in, in stores like Trader Joe's, Mother's Market, a lot of places have oh, really? them. Yeah, we definitely gotta add some green since Beyonce's been doing her whole vegan thing. Nice. So this is it, Beyonce in a bowl. That's my favorite kind of Beyonce. <laughs> so I'm starving. So you should dip it a little bit. Dip in the, in the uh... crema, let's get some of that caviar. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Being able to fry avocado, it just makes it so good. Right? I think you did it. I think you successfully took Beyonce as a human being and created a perfect appetizer for her. Well, thank you. Thank you again, Chef Nikki, for thank taking you. part in this wild and wacky and kind of weird experiment. It was but super fun. It turned out really well. And of course, if you think that we forgot any ingredients and there are other foods that Beyonce is but we didn't mention, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Bon Appetit YouTube channel.